Welcome back to the channel guys. It is finally time to paint the interior. If you checked out last week's video and stayed to the end, you got a sneak peek of this already. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you also would have seen what I've been doing. But just to give you a quick rundown, I added a little more detail on the seats. I did some research trying to figure out how I wanted to paint this because I want the seats to look like leather. I wanted to really have a, a scale true leather effect to it. And while doing some research on painting techniques, I found a technique to use beading wire along the edge of the seat to look like piping on a leather seat. Thought this would be really cool to help add that leather effect because I could paint the seat one color and then come back and paint this piping a different color to add some contrast and really make it pop. Probably gonna be kind of hard to paint something that small, but we'll get to that later on. First off is gonna be to add the first coat of paint. I've been playing around with a couple techniques to get the color like I want and get that texture right. This isn't the one that I'm going with, but this is just one of my examples. This is actually a little darker than I wanna go in the leather as well, but basically I'm starting with a base of one color, a brown, putting a clear coat on top. You'll see I found that to be crucial. And then we're gonna start using some other colors, some black, some other browns, some whites maybe, just to add texture to it. Leather isn't such a smooth surface. I mean, it is smooth, but it has texture to it. If you feel leather, you'll feel the grain of the leather. And although you won't really feel that being that this is just a model, I want it to look like it has that leather grain in it. And that's where the different stippling and dry brushing and all of that comes in. I think that's enough talking. You might understand it more as I start painting. So let's get some paint on. While that dries for a bit, I just want to answer a question that I know I'm going to get down in the comments below. Why am I painting this with a brush instead of airbrushing this? The main reason why I'm going with brushes instead of an airbrush and spraying this is just because of the super fine details. When I get into the other colors, I don't want to have to be taping up a whole bunch. It would take a whole lot of tape and some very good masking skills to tape up around the areas where I don't get paint in places I don't want. The other thing is the brushes are actually gonna help to give me that texture that I'm looking for, that leather texture. Now, not necessarily with this first coat. This first coat we want kind of smooth, which it's kind of getting there already. You can barely see any brush strokes. I mean, I'm looking right up on it and don't see any. Once we put a coat of clear on that and then start layering those other colors on, I don't think you're gonna see any brush strokes at all. It's just a lot easier with the process that I'm doing here to paint it with a brush. I'm gonna let this finish drying a bit, don't wanna speed it up too much. And then I'm gonna go outside and put a coat of semi-gloss clear on it. The semi-gloss clear will protect this original layer and get us ready for the next couple of layers of texturing. So now after a couple of light coats of clear, it's time to start adding some textures. And you can maybe see over here, I have my iPad set up. I have a couple different reference images of some leather textures that I'd like to be able to mimic just to help me to get an idea of what I'm going for. I think I'm gonna start off using some darker washes to get some of that darker texture to pop out. Maybe see in here, there's some just darker parts in the green. And then after we'll come back with some lighter parts. Sometimes you can see in the leather, like by the stitching here, where it gets a little lighter in certain spots. And I believe we can come back after and lighten some things up with some lighter washes. So first of all, we're gonna take some darker browns, maybe a little black and do a couple wash coats here. In between each coat, we do have to go ahead and put a coat of clear on like I mentioned before if not when I go ahead to do another color on top it will wash away the original color we have to protect each layer let's see how this is gonna go that's actually starting to have a nice brown leather effect to it I believe I wanna do one more coat of texturing. I'm gonna go a little lighter now, try to bring out some of that light again, like I mentioned. Not going super light, just kind of a mid-tone brown, maybe a little bit of red in there as well, some tan, just to brighten up a couple areas. 
Then after that, we'll put another clear coat on and then we get to move on to the next color. This is a very long process. Why it took so long for you to see this video. Now on to our second leather color and you may be able to see I already did the piping on the seats because wow that's some intricate painting work. Went ahead and added the lighter tan piping. I may put a second coat on this but for now we're gonna add the tan color to the rest of the parts that are gonna be that color. I want to add some on the dash so we're going to do this small insert here on the dash in that color. It doesn't make sense to do it anywhere else, maybe right on the instrument cluster here but on these trucks full size from the factory this is actually a metal panel here I believe so I think I'm just going to end up painting this black, solid black, I don't want to have a leather look to it. On the console itself. I'm going to go ahead and do this strip that I made all the way around as an accent strip in this lighter color leather. And then the door panels will have two pieces. Same thing, this accent, which is actually like an armrest. And then this top panel, beauty panel, whatever you want to call it that I put in, will also end up being this lighter tan color. Same process here, we're going to lay down a base coat of this lighter tan. It's a lot more intricate detail this time. I have to be very careful and then I'll go put a coat of clear on it. This thing's gonna have a whole lot of coats of clear on it by the end of this. And then come back and do a little bit of texturing, not near as much as the first color, but maybe just one little pass of texturing and then down to the final small details. I have to say I'm really happy with the way the texturing's coming out on the leather, the darker leather as well as the lighter leather. Now it's time for those little details that should really bring this thing to life. Things like the door handles, the speaker grills, cup holders, the whole instrument cluster, that kind of stuff. Painting wise, I'm not too worried about. I have an idea of what I'm going to do. Clear coat wise is where I'm going to have to figure something out because some of these parts I want to have more of a gloss finish and other parts like the seats now, I want to have this matte semi-gloss finish to appear as leather. That'll be a little interesting to figure out, but we'll get there in a minute. Let's go ahead and paint in all of these details. I am extremely pleased with how this came out. I'm pretty proud of myself not to toot my own horn, but I really got that leather texture I was looking for. I think the colors are exactly what I wanted. Got that nice dark, not so saddle leather brown, but a, a good dark tan, kind of light brown. And then as well as that tan, just to kind of add some contrast and some pop in the interior. You can see I also went and put in a couple details with the black in spots like the speaker grills and also with some silver in my cup holders and on the steering wheel you can also see I brought in some of that bronze into the interior. The bronze that I painted the chassis with went on the horn button here as well as on the bezel that goes around the shifter and not sure if you can really see but the door handles as well. This all came out Probably better than I even expected, honestly. The seats, even with the piping, looks really good. There is one thing that I feel like is missing though. Something just doesn't feel complete here. Hmm? So this stuff just showed up. Um, yeah, let me explain this. So the thing that's missing here is carpet. Look at all this gray on the floorboards here. 
It just doesn't look right. It, it throws off the whole look. It just doesn't look complete. Well, while doing some research on painting and all of these details and stuff, one of the things I came across was some ways to simulate carpet in model cars. Instead of just painting it a solid color, we can use some different techniques to add a little texture, make it really look like carpet. The two things I found was either flocking or this stuff called embossing powder. Flocking would give us a little more of a carpet texture, I believe. Probably make it look a little better, but this is the stuff I could get the quickest. And I really want to get this thing finished up and wrapped up. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this now. Hopefully it comes out. I guess you'll see along with me. I mean, I have no complaints at all. That looks surprisingly like carpet, which is exactly what we wanted. So there's no need to do anything else here. That was really easy to do, just putting a coat of paint on and dusting that stuff on there. We let it set for just a second and then dump the rest off and it actually sticks to the paint. The paint acts like a glue. And yeah, that's done. There's one other thing I did off camera. I went ahead and painted the inside of the body, this same darker brown leather, because if you really get in there and look, there's a couple of spots that you'll still be able to see. You know what? Let me go ahead and just throw this thing in there and you'll be able to get an idea of what I'm talking about. It's just kind of trial fit, not all the way where it needs to be and not secured in there with screws just yet, but you can see right past the door panels where you can still see a little bit of the body. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure all of that kind of blended in together, painted it the same color as the rest of the darker leather really finishes off the look i really like how this is looking inside the body we need to get some paint on the outside now that's the next step and basically the final step other than final assembly you might have noticed they have a little paint on the outside of the body some overspray you'll see where that's leading in the next video when we finally paint the body itself the interior was definitely the longest and most time consuming part of painting. The exterior is still going to take some time as well. A good bit of taping up to do and making sure I don't skip over any details, making sure everything's nice and painted. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below if you did. Let me know in the comments what you think about my interior. How does the effect look to you? Does it look real? Does it look scale? I'm pretty happy with what I got right here. Hoping to, like I've been saying from the beginning, fool the camera when this build is done. I think in photos, this interior will definitely help to make this thing look real. Maybe fool a couple people online. Thank you guys for all the support throughout this build. This has been a really fun one and we're finally getting close to wrapping it up. Hoping to take it out to the first car show soon. So make sure to subscribe if you're ready to see the rest of this build. And as always, thanks again for watching. Peace.